Hi, I'm Laura. Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, if you are an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I'm happy to have you here. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how I set up my son's party balloon hoop um, at the weekend for his birthday. It was just delivered a few days ago and I'd never used one before, so I thought it might be quite useful to some parents out there or anybody that may be planning a party who, like me, is not a party planner. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Is it may be useful so let's get into it so here I am just opening up the hoop um, I ordered it from Timo for just 20 pounds can you believe that it came within a week which was great as I was expecting it to take way longer than that so I was really really pleased with that so it comes in quite a few different parts and they simply just um, push together their poles, their curved poles, and they just push together really easily. Um, once you've done that, you just need to attach your feet, which you'll see me doing soon. And for the building part, you are pretty much done. Um, so as I said, I am not a party planner by any means. I'm a mum that simply just loves to try and make my children's birthdays as special as possible. Um, if they don't remember much else of their childhood fondly, which I obviously hope they do, I would just like them to remember how special they were made to feel on their birthday. So I always try and be a little bit extra on their birthday, maybe a little bit over the top. But you know, this is what we do and they absolutely love it. I do try and make my kids a balloon arch for their birthday, which I've done probably, I don't know, three, four years now in, in a row. Um, but what I was finding was, even with the command hooks, um, it was peeling the paint off the wall when I was trying to take it down. So ideally, I don't really want to be putting them on the wall anymore. Hence, I thought I would try this, and I was so pleasantly surprised. And it's way, way easier than you would imagine. So there we have it, it's all fixed up and ready for the decor, which was so super easy. So I wrote my husband into blowing all the balloons up for me, um, because fun fact, I'm actually quite scared of balloons, the popping makes me jump out of my skin, so he's always, he's always willing to help me, bless him, so he's blown all the balloons up and I'm tying them as well. You may see that I keep sort of popping in and out of the room, because my daughter bumped her head on this particular night, um, quite badly actually, so I would just, I just keep popping in and checking on her while she's asleep. Um, but yeah, my husband's going to blow all the balloons up and then I am going to get on with attaching them next to the tape which is what holds them all together. So now my husband's blown up all the balloons, it's time for me to start attaching them to the tape, which you'll see that I've got in my hand here. It's just a tape that has holes in uh, for you to feed the balloons in, sort of on the neck. And you would do this sort of um, feeding one in one way from sort of the bottom of the tape and then another one in from the top of the tape and you would alternate it um, each time and changing out the colours and maybe the shapes if you've got different shapes of balloons. I also do know that party planners would probably not do this with a hoop. I've seen many, many YouTube videos where they're actually put together in clusters, but because I've never done that before and I've always used the tape on this occasion because I was brand new to it and I didn't really want to mess it up. I thought I'm just going to stick to the tape and then I'm going to attach the tape to the hoop once they're all on. The balloons that you see that I've got here actually came as part of the kit so they come with the tape and they also come with some glue dots in case you want to add any more balloons onto the front of them once you've finished. Um, it was just a, a balloon arch kit that I got from eBay. I want to say it was around £8.50 which is super reasonable and there's lots of different colours in there and shapes also. So this took me just over two hours to complete this, which it can be quite a tedious job and sometimes you feel like you're never actually going to finish, but believe me you will and it's worth it, especially when you see your child's face in the morning. So if you're going to give it a go, stick at it, you will finally get to the end of the huge pile of balloons that you've got. I know you want it, you 
wanna take a leap and jump in. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna fall in love. You get this. So now that all the balloons are attached to the tape, it's time to hang it on the hoop. So Lee is just finding the middle and then he's just going to use tape to secure it. Um, which I wasn't too sure about because obviously that's not the way it's meant to be done. But actually it worked out really well. So he's just positioning it where we want it. And then we just basically wrapped it around where we wanted it. I mean, you can do this whichever way you want, really. You can have them to the side, you can have them through the middle. You know, it's entirely up to you. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Ooh, I live it So now that it's all secure, I'm just going to put it into position being sure to put it far enough away from the lights so that they don't pop the blues So there you have it, a professional looking party showstopper ready for your child's birthday. So give it a go yourself and leave me a comment below to let me know how you got on as I would love to hear. Please remember to give this video a big like if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!